I wanted to create a video of the amplitude difference between clocks that have a new suspension spring installed and clocks that don't have a new suspension spring installed. They're using the old OEM suspension spring. Here we have two clocks. They're both 528s. They're built in the same decade. They were both overhauled. They both have very butter smooth movements. They both have very good main springs that have been uh, lubricated with Mobius 9020. However, the clock on the right has a new suspension spring that was installed and the clock on the left has the old OEM spring. So what is the difference? As you watch these clocks rotate, even though they're rotating in the opposite direction, look how much faster the clock on the right rotates, how much it holds energy. That clock is operating at 540 degree amplitude. The clock on the left is only operating at about 472 degree amplitude. And the reason is that old suspension spring just doesn't have the strength to turn that balance as strong as a new suspension spring. So I think this uh, video really illustrates how a new suspension spring adds a little bit of strength to that balance. When you have a clock that has high amplitude, the clock has a better ability to keep accurate time. Not that the clock on the left won't keep accurate time, but in 10 years, what is the clock on the left going to look like for amplitude and what does the clock on the right look like? Generally, new springs will add about 50 to 60 years life to your clock. So something to kind of keep in mind. A new suspension spring was installed on the clock that is located on the left side. If you remember from the um, beginning of our video, this clock had 472 degree amplitude. It was moving pretty slow. It currently is running at 532 degree amplitude, which is really good. The clock on the right is at um, running at 542 degree amplitude. So these both of these clocks are running almost identical. The reason, they're clean. We have um, properly lubricated mainsprings, nice clean movements, and a new suspension spring completes the overhaul. Not every um, clock technician is going to recommend a new suspension spring in an overhaul, but I do. You can tell the difference now when you look at the beginning of the video and the end of the video, the difference in the balance movement. This can be completely attributed to the new spring. It has a lot of strength left in it, and this spring will last you another 50 or 60 years. Both of these clocks are approaching 50 years old, and they're running like the day they were made. So if you're interested in getting your clock overhauled, you can reach me at the email address below and send the clock to me to get fixed.